What's going on traders? John with Tactical Trading here. Uh, this is with a little midday uh, kind of review here uh, for Tuesday, um, September 15th. I think it's the 15th. I'm losing track of the days here. Um, there's a lot of action going on in the stock market. Uh, I'm going to go over some OTC stocks that I'm looking at, um, you know, for the remainder of the week, especially for today. And then some really uh, small cap um, listed stocks that I'm going to be taking a look at and watching very closely over the rest of the day today and over the next few days. I think these things are starting to pick up some momentum. As I saw yesterday, a lot of small caps had some nice 10, 15, 20% runs. Uh, some may have pulled Back a little bit but are starting to you know do a little bit of a continuation um, first I'm going to start in the NASDAQ um, in the uh, listed stocks I'm just going to name out the ticker uh, you guys can do the homework on them and see if they fit for you but I, these are the tickers I want you to keep an eye on for the rest of the week uh, CFS solutions uh, that's CHFS um, they put out a tweet yesterday um, about their product, and they're also hitting lows. I think they're oversold, so I think this stock has a chance to rebound and maybe pick up a lot of the losses that uh, they. These, this stock went up to a dollar twenty not too long ago, and is now trading just a shade under thirty three cents. Um, so I want you to keep an eye on this stock. Uh, hopefully, they're going to go with a. a, a you know, a legit PR rather than these tweets uh, because it tends to get a little more momentum. But keep an eye out for that for CHFS. Uh, another stock is Novus Therapeutics, NVUS. Uh, stock right now has pulled back. It's about a dollar right now. Uh, the 52-week high is a dollar 45. Day high is a, a shade over a dollar 30. I think a dollar 34, a dollar 35. Uh, made a really nice trade on this thing this morning. Got a pre-market for a little bit about 84 cents, and then sold out at a dollar 29. So um, I let it go after the open. Rode through a little bit of pull and push and pull on this. I was thinking about getting back in about the dollar, but I'm going to wait for the afternoon to see if this thing can break the highs. Um, this would be a nice uh, dip in rip if it can if it can maintain kind of grind back up a little bit and then break those uh, 130 highs because that would put it very close to its 52 week highs and then we can see some legitimate breakouts uh they had a, you know the, there's a merger talk with them or uh, uh, they actually purchased another company so just do your homework on them that is nvus um tnxp Ton tonics pharmaceuticals a stock i've been talking about uh probably four or five times on this channel uh it's at about 83 cents right now the ticker is tnxp i would definitely keep an eye on TNXP. Uh, they put out a press release today and I think this stock may start building some momentum. Um, remember maybe a little over a month and a half ago this stock went from the the mid 50 cent range all the way up to two dollars and 40 some odd cents. This stock can move. Um, they have a lot of good news. Uh, if, you, if you want to take a look at some of the old videos of what you know describing what this company does, some of the agreements that they have and contracts that they have, some of the things that they're doing, but they have a very diverse pipeline, and I love TNXP. Uh, this would actually be a nice swing trade for myself that I would actually like to hang on to. Uh, another one is Hancock Jaff Labs. HJLI. Uh, this stock is trading a shade under 50 cents. Uh, this thing has been showing some nice momentum over the past three or four days. It even started back on Thursday and Friday. Um, you could have got this thing last Wednesday in the 30s. Uh, this thing is now trading closer to 50 cents. It's a, it's a, kind, it's a mid low float stock. I think it has about uh, 25, 30 million float, uh, but this thing can move. Um, so I would definitely keep my eye on HJLI. And the last one is Sunworks. S-U-N-W. This thing has been getting some momentum over the last few days. Uh, it's trading a shade under 80 cents, so keep an eye on that. Uh, the actual five stocks, the listed stocks that I want you to keep an eye on are CHFS, NVUS, TNXP, HJLI, and S-U-N-W. Now, for the OTC stocks, uh, we're still looking at Giga Metals. Um, I think with this battery day coming up and possibility of them having a deal with Tesla, you definitely still want to keep an eye on these guys. They're up to $1.42 after pulling back uh, late yesterday. Um, so they, they've re garnered some momentum. This could be a multi-day runner. Um, I would definitely keep my eye on Giga Metals, HNCKF. Uh, another one is IPIX. Innovation Pharmaceuticals, IPIX. I've talked about these guys quite a few times in my election infection OTC videos. This is a stock I like. It showed uh, They had uh, in vitro testing that showed that their drug has um, been successful 100% as far as relieving uh, election infection symptoms. The stock is about $0.25. Cents. I would definitely uh, keep IPIX, IPIX on my watch list. 
Another stock that has excellent news, I talked about these guys probably it was mid-July um, and way cheaper than they are now, is Sunshine Biopharmaceuticals, SBFM. Uh, the stock right now is about uh, 0 0.028, so it's a shade under three cents, about two tenths of a penny under three cents. Uh, the high of the day is a little over three cents. Um, they had just received, uh, I believe it was $2 million in funding uh, for their election infection um, therapeutics. And um, this looks like an ongoing funding situation. So uh, when this happens with a company like this, they tend to be multi-day runners. So I would definitely keep my eye on SBFM. Um, another two real quick, um, Decision Diagnostics. Be very careful with this stock. DECN, -D DECN. -E uh, it's trading right now at about 21 and a half cents. But the spread on the bid asks are always huge on this stock. Um, but this stock can run. Um, they are selling the um, quick tests for the election infection in Europe. Uh, they are putting in and trying to get FDA approval for the United States, but they have not got that yet. But they are in Europe. Um, I believe they have something on the 26th, so keep an eye on DECN for September 26th. Do your homework on them and see if this like obviously fits what you like to do. Again, be very careful with these guys because they have always have a wide spread. Don't just hit the ask if you're trying to buy these guys. Do not do that. You're going to pay 8, 10, 12 cents higher than you should pay. Put in a, a, put in a um, limit order and wait for the offer to come to you. Do not hit the offer on this thing um, and that's DECN and the last one is obviously a stock I've been talking about at nauseum the past couple weeks is WorkSport WKSP uh, they're trading a shade under 25 cents they pulled back quite a bit I believe they will be releasing um, who they're doing business with over the next few days so keep a close eye on that situation when they release who they're doing business with whether it be Rivian who I think it is Lordstown Motors whoever it may be Keep an eye on that because that will propel the stock. So, again, we're looking at HNCKF, IPIX, SBFM, BEGI, um, DECN, and WKSP. Did I even mention BEGI? I might have skipped right over those guys. Black Star Entertainment, uh, BEGI. These guys, uh, they, they have some PR drop today. They shot right up and kind of pulled back. This is not one of my favorites, but this stock has shown it can run. This stock is a uh, the cryptocurrency stock. It moves with Bitcoin. So as Bitcoin goes, this goes. But this is a stock that has shown elasticity. This stock can move. So again, it's HNCKF, IPIX, SBFM, BEGI, DECN, and WKSP. My favorites, WKSP. And definitely Sunshine Biopharma, SBFM. And as far as over here uh, in the listed stocks, just keep an eye on all five of them. You guys have a great day. I'll be putting out some videos uh, either later on tonight or tomorrow, so keep an eye out for that. I appreciate you guys watching. If you haven't subscribed, please, please subscribe to the channel. Uh, please like, please share, and always please try to subscribe. If you got any questions or anything you want me to look at, put it in the comment section below, and we will get back to you later on. Let's get that money, traders.